Um, I would say what drives me is truly doing work that I feel passionate about and doing stuff um, that doesn't feel like work because sometimes I forget I'm even at work because I so enjoy what I do which is creating um, and I think to not make things go to your head success go to your head I think it's always to remember that everything is so temporary that's how I look at it that and you always should treat people the way that you want to be treated and I think going back to my grandmother my grandmother always used to say to me say please and thank you and hello to everyone it doesn't matter if they are taking out the garbage or if they're the president of a company treat everybody the same because everybody has a mother and that was always how I grew up that you always treat people the same way and treat people the way that you want to be treated and so I think for that um, when I remember that success can't go to my head and I, and I think you should always try and be humble because if there's anything that I, I've learned is that people can love you today and hate you tomorrow right so it's always good to just just be yourself as a queer woman of color to get my work seen in the biggest obstacles I faced I think it's to very similar to what I said in my speech is people putting my work and myself in a box like they will say um, oh well she's a black writer or she's going to write about um, just black issues or she's just going to write about queer issues or she's going to write about female issues and a lot of times I, I, I say to people I can do so many different things just recently um, for example we um, the show was held in New York and there was a white woman who auditioned for the play and I was asked to write a monologue for her and I wrote a monologue for her and it was this huge big thing in the room. People were like, oh, we didn't know that you could write for white people. And I'm like, <laughs> I'm a writer. It doesn't matter. That's what I do. I write. So I can write for anyone as long as they have talent and I'm inspired and I see them, I can write. And so I think my biggest obstacle always has been people trying to limit my work or limit me, even as an actor, to say, oh, these are the roles you should be doing. Oh, you're a co comedic actor. You can only do comedy. And I'm like, no, I'm a trained actor. I can also do drama. So it's always trying to prove yourself. Um, so I think that has been one of my biggest obstacles. Lord, what does it mean to be talking at TED? A lot of sleepless nights, because um, <laughs> I was nervous about my speech. Um, but it's just a great opportunity to be seen, to be heard, to inspire, to hear other people's opinions, and to see the changes, and, and see what a great community that we live in, and to just be accessible to so many people watching from all over the world. I, I, I just love it. Like it's, it's been one of the highlights of my life. I can really, truly say that. I, I loved it.